Welcome to View Designer with Wheat. When we follow the official view docs and create a new project, uh, it uses Wheat underneath, which provides an amazing developer experience. So in this guide, we're gonna go step by step, uh, scaffold a new project and install and configure the PineGrove Wheat plugin uh, to make sure to make our app work in View Designer. Um, let's get started. Now I've got View Designer already open. I wanna click on new project and select Wheat. Now we've got two options. One is we can open the official view docs. So if I click on view, it'll open the official view docs. And then we can use the npm minute view at latest command to create a new project, view project, uh, which uses Vite underneath by default. Option two is uh, we can open the Tailwind CSS official docs and that gives us instructions to create a Vite powered view project and later add Tailwind. So since we're gonna add Tailwind, I'm gonna use this command, this template, copy this, and then I'm gonna open Tailwind, uh, sorry, Visual Studio Code, open my terminal, navigate to where I want to create the project, paste that command, and rename the project as my view Tailwind app. And then CD into that newly created project. And I'm gonna open that in Visual Studio Code. So this is our new uh, project, uh, scaffolded from that uh, Tailwind uh, template. Let's open the terminal again. And let's first install our dependencies. npm install, and that should install all the dependencies in package.json. And now let's go to View Designer, close this dialog, and open the newly created project. So navigate where, where the project is created and select. So when we open a new project in View Designer uh, for the first time, the config panel automatically pops out and it provides the instruction needed to install the Vite plugin or any other integration module that's necessary to make it work in View Designer. So I'm gonna copy this and then go to my terminal, paste that command to install our PineGrove Beat plugin. So you can see here we've installed now PineGrove Beat plugin. Um, and then let's go to View Designer. And the step two is configuring it. So now we're gonna import the Live Designer module from the PineGrove Beat plugin and then um, add that to the plugins array in Vite config. So now notice that there are some comments here that says if the package JSON mentions the project as type module, then we got to import it in a different way. Now let's go check the package JSON. Yes, it is type module. So I'm going to copy the commented out line here to import and then come back here to Sys Studio code, um, open Vite config, paste those import statements in here uncommented and now let's add live designer which is highlighted here and go back to uh, our wheat config paste it here in the wheat plugins array save and now once that's done um, we when we go back to view designer we can notice that it doesn't show the red action required status anymore because we have installed and configured it and there are more, uh, some more um, steps here that we can follow uh, to add um, Vite aliases. Uh, we recommend you, uh, you can follow these. Uh, they are optional, but they are very useful. I'm going to add the aliases that are suggested. So that will be after the plugins are in Vite config. That's done. The next one is, there are a few files that are temporarily used by View Designer, and they can be added to the git, git igno. So open git igno and paste those in here. And this makes sure that uh, these files don't get uh, git, git committed. So that's done. Come back to the config panel. And there are a few more steps. Um, so if you are in a transitionary phase in terms of adopting Tailwind TypeScript, then, and if you have a, a TS config JSON file, 
you can allow JS and turn off strict mode and also add the paths that we created as aliases. Uh, I'm going to skip this for now, uh, but we recommend uh, you check this out. Let's start our dev server now. npm run dev. And you can see there's a notification that says Pine Grove connected to the dev server URL. What it says, what it means is we have established a connection between the dev server and view designer. And in view designer, you can notice that the icon uh, shows the status green. And if we go to the top of the config panel, uh, it gives the status of the connection that it's connected to a dev server. And that's it. It's, it's actually, you do it once and uh, the config panel is used only for that one time setup. And now let's close the config panel and open the startup page. So what you see in the middle of the interface is the page view. You can think, it of, think about it as the preview page uh, that you open in your browser after um, starting a dev server. So I'm gonna click on it. I want to collapse the project panel. And you can notice that um, it opened app.view. So the startup page is generally app.view or one of the index pages. Um, so this is a very simple app and you can notice that we can already create, select the elements um, in the page view. And I'm gonna duplicate this icon by clicking on the duplicate uh, icon, uh, button here. And you can see that Weeds HMR is instantly updating the app and we are able to live design this particular component app.view. Note that I'm gonna save this uh, now and then close this project. Note that if we actually, uh, if you happen to use one of the quick start templates that are uh, suggested here, uh, the weak config is pre-installed pre and there are a couple of other things as well pre-installed that works well with View Designer. So um, if you're cloning one of these uh, templates, you can straight away get uh, started with uh, View Designer working on your app. So we didn't cover how to use the visual controls and uh, how we're going to design the view components in view designer. That will be covered in a later guide. And we're not done yet. Let's go back to our browser. So we just uh, scaffolded a template. Now we're going to install Tailwind and then go through a couple of uh, more steps. Now Tailwind is quite special um, with view designer because uh, we have a special uh, Pine Grove Tailwind plugin that provides IntelliSense and a couple of other features uh, in View Designer, uh, which we'll cover as part of a separate guide. So as part of this uh, guide, we installed the Pine Grove plugin and um, opened our app startup page and uh, we were able to establish the source DOM connection uh, and then um, visually design your component in, in View Designer. Uh, thank you and then I'll see you in the next guide.